every mass shooting in the United States in the past 60 years, except for two of them, have happened in gun-free zones. That includes San Bernardino, Fort Hood, and Omar Mateen's terror attack in Orlando. That was almost three weeks ago. Five days ago, outside a nightclub in South Carolina called Playoffs Nightclub, the nightmare almost happened again. A man with a gun, angry, violent, shot three people. Then he shot another. But that man, that fourth man down, he didn't do what liberals wanted him to do. He didn't vomit. He didn't pee. He exercised his right to self-defense. He returned fire with his legally permitted concealed carry handgun. And he saved his own life and undoubtedly countless others too. The attacker, by the way, was not a legal gun owner. This comes at the same time that Attorney General Loretta Lynch says that the best way to fight hatred is with unity, compassion, and love. Now, this is hardly a laughing matter, but unless your fists are named unity and compassion and your gun named love, that's not going to fend off attackers. Hillary Clinton, too, claims that weapons of war have no place on our streets. But maybe, just maybe, liberals surrounded by guns, protected by our tax money, insulated from the dangers of criminals desperate to kill, forget that in the 10 minutes before police arrive, our lives are in our own hands. Our destinies reliant on our capacity and right to defend and act. It's no coincidence that this mass shooting was stopped by a law-abiding gun owner, that no lives were lost because of his readiness to defend. But you haven't heard about this, have you? Shh. Liberals say speak no word and the media obeys because this betrays their hollow cries, their calls for control of our right to bear arms, their polls and points and pleadings are all a lie. And this proves it. When Americans exercise their right to bear arms, when gun-free zones don't inhibit that right, crime is less, deaths are fewer, and mass shootings can be prevented. And that's my final point. Reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. And if you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. And be sure to catch Tipping Point again tomorrow at 10 p.m. Eastern, and have a good night.